Hi, this is problem five from the 2016 AIM. On read a book, on the first day she read n pages in t minutes where n and t are positive integers. On the second day, she read n plus one pages in t plus one minutes. Each day thereafter, she read one more page than she read on the previous day. And it took her one more minute than on the previous day until she completed the 374 page book. And it took her a total of 319 minutes to read the book. Find the sum n plus t. Okay, so this looks like an integer equation problem, and uh, we're pretty far into the test, so this may be a bit tricky. And it looks like it involves an arithmetic series. It looks like we have uh, n pages on the first day, and n plus 1 pages on the next day, and then each day thereafter we increase the number of pages by 1. So it looks like we have an arithmetic series which starts with uh, pages of value n, followed by n plus 1 on the second day, n plus 2 on the third day. And uh, let's assume we have k days in total, so k terms. And that would uh, give us a final term value of n plus k minus 1. And we have a similar series for the time in minutes. So on the first day, it took us t minutes, second day, t plus 1, t plus 2, all the way up to and including t plus k minus 1 on the final day. Now we need to use our arithmetic uh, sum series formulas to find that uh, for this first series, if we add up all these pages, the first term is n, the final term is n plus k minus 1, we have k such terms, so that yields a sum of k over 2, 2n plus k minus 1, and we're told that that's equal to 374. And similarly, for the second series, we have k over 2, 2t plus k minus 1, and we're told that that's equal to 319. So these are all integer uh, parameters, and it uh, looks like if we multiply this by 2, we're going to end up with an integer equation for both the top and the bottom. So let's uh, multiply by 2 and take the prime factorization of 374 and 319. And when we do that, we'll end up with uh, k times 2n plus k minus 1 is equal to 2 times 374 which is a 2 squared times 11 times 17. And the bottom equation is equal to 2 times 11 times 29. So these prime factorizations are working out nicely, so I'm pretty sure we're on the right track here. And at this point, we can use the fundamental theorem of arithmetic to compare the integer factors on the left to the prime factorizations on the right. And we notice that this k factor appears in both the top and the bottom prime factorizations. And from that, we know that k is either equal to 11, or it's possibly equal to 11 times 2. Those are the only two possibilities, and I can't quite tell at this point which it is, so we'll probably have to work out both cases. So let's assume the first case for k is equal to 11, and plug 11 back into this expression, and then we can divide both sides by 11, and this first equation will then give us 2n plus 10 is equal to 68, and the bottom equation, we have 2t plus 11 minus 1, that's uh, 2t plus 10, 58, and we can solve for n, n is equal to 29, 28 uh, divided by 2, t is equal to 24, and we can sum n plus t to give us 53. So that looks like a valid answer. Now we'd have to go back and try the second case where we let k equal to 2 times 11 and see how that works out. And if you work out this math, you'll find out that uh, you can solve for n and t, but n and t will turn out not to be integers. And so uh, letting k equal to 2 times 11 does not yield a valid solution in terms of integer values for n and t. 
So uh, k equal to 11 is the only valid choice for k to lead to integer values for n and t. So 53 is the one and only correct answer. Anyway, hope that helped, and we'll see you at the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.